final minute. Newbie reporting for duty to share classified information as to how he wins free for all. I've won thousands over the last 15 years, and you can see I'm at 278 wins already in Modern Warfare 3, not even halfway through the game yet. So here are my strategies to win. First of all, configure for lethality. For my kill streaks, I use the Mosquito drone. Yeah, that's controversial. Sometimes it gacks me. Um, turret and the VTOL proximity mines every time and then the flash grenade trophy system they don't matter but if you're going to use the proximity mines use the demolition vest so that you can get two of them and they they reload then finally for the gloves I use commando covert sneakers and mission control com leak to get my streaks faster people generally don't use stunners you can also use quick grip gloves to change out to the secondary weapon covert sneakers though they're a must should you suppress I'm, i have mixed emotions on that sometimes i do if i have an extra slot but i really don't care about suppressing because i'm moving fast and if people see me on the mini map and come to me they're potential victims. One thing for sure, no lasers. Do not use a laser in free-for-all, only rarely. Consider larger magazines too because you're gonna have multiple engagements. And dainty magazines cause you to die. Accept maps favoring your style. I, Grandpa doesn't play favela and I don't pay on, play underpass. I mean, people just camp on both of those maps. If I'm running around, I'm dying. So I'm not going to play them. I'm not going to put up with the camping. Seldom do they get to 30 kills anyway. So before I even start, I don't start. If there's somebody practicing their rapping, if you're listening to secondhand music, which to me is worse than secondhand smoke, silence your enemies before the game starts because you're going to end up getting gacked in the middle of the game trying to silence them then. The less distraction, the better. Go prone. At match countdown, helps you see the enemies, harder to see them, harder for them to see you before the game starts, and you be prepared for a bulldog attack. People know where the spawns are, and at the very beginning, they're going to come after you. Here's an example of going prone. Look at there. I see an enemy. I have a sniper. As soon as the countdown gets to zero, he's dead. Slow motion. Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. Free kill to start the game. I ended up winning that one. Back to our game in progress. Here are some rules of thumb for playing free-for-all, and really, they work in just about every mode. First, play aggressively. Build angles. you got to move. You can't sit still. Number two, campers never win. That's almost true. But don't plan on camping your way to the kingship and 30 kills because it just doesn't happen. I've played thousands of free-for-all games, really, literally over the last 15 years. And probably less than 10 or 15 have I witnessed somebody who primarily camps or camps and moves winning the game. Keep an eye on the mini map. The mini map is going to be your friend. If you ignore it you're going to miss out on a lot of potential gags limit your time in the open or on long routes the campers are going to camp the long routes they're going to be in the corners looking towards the open space they're going to gack you so you can't avoid it entirely and sometimes you can see somebody on the mini map that you take the shortest route to but try to limit the time in the open watch the kill cam i see people when I watch my son play, when I watch his friends play, they just hit the X and get right back in it every time they buy the farm. But the kill cam is your friend and free for all. Every once in a while when you don't know where you've been killed from, keep an eye on the kill cam and it'll tell you where the enemy is. Once you gack somebody, get out of there. Don't pose with the body. Don't shoot the body. 
don't admire your kill, get out of there because you've probably shown up on the mini map and they're going to be folks coming after you. So be alert. A lot of times you can gack somebody and gack the people that are coming after you. Don't stress if you get behind. I've been behind by as many as 12 or 13 kills before and come back to win the free-for-all, number one. Reason being, sometimes people are using aftermarket steroids. They get way ahead. They get worried. They turn the steroids off and you end up winning. And in keeping with that theme, I've had several players banned during the match for using aftermarket steroids. And it doesn't have to be a cheating situation. Sometimes people just do good at the very beginning of a game and they fall behind later. Watch who your enemy is shooting at. They're, they're pointing at your next victim. So if you gack somebody who's in the process of shooting, you can assume that there's another enemy out there close by. Just as I said, don't use lasers in free-for-all. Follow lasers to gack the enemy. Probably 10 to 15% of my kills in free-for-all are due entirely to people using lasers, aiming down sight, lasers visible at hip, and I just simply follow those lasers. I'm prepared to either jump or slide or slowly move in, pre-firing, and I gack the enemy. Lasers are a bad deal in free-for-all. Take risks at the end of the game. If it's tied 29-29, 28-28, you have 27, the enemy has 29, it's time for you to take some risks. Get out in the middle. Look for people. I've won many games where I've been behind by one or two kills and the enemy only needs one to get to 30. So you're going to need to take risks. Assume corner campers. They're not in every game, but they do show up. Like I said, you can't camp your way to victory. So I don't understand why people would corner camp, but they do. So respond with shock and awe. Generally, and it's almost 100%, if a camper gacks grandpa, grandpa comes back and finds them. And if they're still alive, they're a free kill. And finally, make sure you employ your lethals for every life. You're carrying possibility of killing the enemy with you when you respawn every time. Get those lethals out there. I use proximity mines. Some people use thermite. Some people use grenades. Some people use other things. But make sure that you use them every life because if you don't, it's a lost opportunity. If you're an old head, you probably already do most of these. If you're a young stick, and you know, I practice a few of them each game until all of them become second nature. If you have any more good techniques, please comment below. So here are a few games, raw footage I don't edit. This one, the weapon's the Chimera. It's the Horus for the other one. And I played about seven or eight free-for-all games in preparation for this video. I'll let you know, I did come in first in all of them. So those who say I get easy lobbies, I guess skill-based matchmaking must be turned off for me. In any case, thanks for joining. Please have a good day, rest of the week. Cheers and peace. Oh, and please subscribe and like. Helps me, helps the family. See you tomorrow.
invincible. is half over. Maintain the lead. For all. Weapons free. Engage all threats on target.
UAV in the area.